everyone, welcome to Kyo Talks. My name is Kelly and today we are going to be talking about the difference between STEM, STEAM, and STREAM. You probably only have heard of STEM because I've mentioned it like a couple hundred times, but I'm sure you probably have never heard of STEAM and STREAM. I actually came across both of these acronyms when I was researching for my videos. I did some research about the differences between STEM, STEAM, and STREAM. Educators just want to be more inclusive to get more people to go into STEM subjects. Let's talk about STEM, STEAM, and STREAM and their curriculum. Before we begin, please subscribe to Keo Talks for more college videos. Without further ado, let's begin. In my previous video, I talked a lot about STEM. Just to recap, STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. STEM curriculum has a bad reputation of being very difficult. Because of this difficult reputation, lots of students are less inclined to go into STEM. The term STEM was actually introduced in 2001 by the U.S. National Science Foundation. Before it was called STEM, it was called SMET. Imagine if we called STEM SMET. It sounds so silly. Anyways, STEM is actually something we refer to quite often instead of STEAM and STREAM. Many people will agree that STEM focuses on scientific concepts. Let's talk about STEAM. Now there's an A inside STEM. STEM. That A stands for art. This includes humanities, language, music, arts, dancing, etc. Basically, the whole purpose of STEAM is to include artistic expression when it comes to scientific concepts. Many educators may refer STEAM as a problem-based learning method. STEAM is meant to encourage students to participate in STEM curriculum. It's supposed to make students feel included in representing their knowledge, even though they may not be that great in math and science. An example of a STEAM concept would be Leonardo da Vinci and his scientific discoveries. Not only did he use science, he also uses art. A present day example of this concept would be Leia Heiss. Heiss is a nanotechnologist that makes jewelry for diabetics. These pieces of jewelry are meant to help diabetics to administer insulin. Many educators think that the reason why students do not engage in STEM curriculum is because it's too rigid. They should include other curriculum as well. Now we have STREAM. STREAM is STEAM with an R. The R stands for reading. I'm sure most of you guys will agree that reading and writing is a very crucial skill to have. You need to be able to read and write in order to have some kind of critical thinking going on. Not only will reading and writing help you during school, it will also help you during the workforce. Let's say someone asks you to write a report. With good reading and writing skills, you wouldn't have a problem writing up that report. Reading and writing can also help your communication skills as well. If you are able to communicate through words, you are likely to gain connections with people. Like I said earlier, STREAM is meant to promote critical thinking. It's also supposed to promote creativity as well. By adding this reading and writing component, educators believe that students will be more well-rounded. After doing research on STEM, STEAM, and STREAM, I realized that the purpose was to include more students so that they have more people participating in STEM curriculum. It sounds more welcoming that the hard skills are not only science, technology, engineering, and math, but it's also reading and writing skills and art. So it doesn't mean you have to be good at one thing. All of the subjects have something to do with each other. But honestly, I don't believe that this acronym should change. I believe STEM should just remain as STEM. This is because every person is different and everybody has something to bring to the table. For example, I may not be that great at reading and writing, but I believe that my mathematics skills are pretty strong. My art skills aren't that bad either. I'm also a musician and I also have a love of language as well. Students in the STEM field all have different skills and things that they have an advantage in or disadvantage in. But I do get why they want to point out that reading and writing and arts are crucial. It is definitely up to the student to take those classes seriously or not. It is already mandatory to take reading and writing and arts for general education. I don't think there's a need to add the R or the A into STEM. That's it for today's video. In the comments section, let me know what you think about STEM, STEAM, and STREAM. I'm very curious to see if you guys know what these are. Also, let me know if you think that the acronym STEM should change. Please like this video and subscribe to Keo Talks for more college videos. I'll be here every Tuesdays and Fridays. See you guys next time. Bye!